Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Google just wrapped up its first keynote at Google I.O. 2015 and one of the great new applications that came out of it was Google Photos. This is a completely new Photos application from Google that looks incredible and just in general looks like it's actually going to be useful as opposed to what's going on at the moment with Google Photos and the Google Plus integration. So, let's take a look. So when you first load the application, you've got to set some parameters in terms of how you want the application to work. So you can choose an account or add a brand new account if needs be. You can also choose to back up and sync automatically and also use Wi-Fi or mobile data, which I'm actually going to turn on as I get unlimited. You've then got the option to actually choose the photo size and they've got a new high quality option here, which is free unlimited storage. And you can also choose the original formatting as well. Now, the great thing about high quality is it's 60 megapixel photos and full 1080p video. So that's definitely great compared compared to what we had beforehand, which compressed the photos quite a lot. It also then goes over all the new features of the application, which I'm actually going to be going over in a lot more detail in this video. Once you've got everything set up and you go into the application, you can see here that it looks similar to what we had before with photos, but you've got some additional settings and things, and just in general, the application looks a little bit different, and it actually performs extremely well. Now, you've also got the photos, collections, and then you've got the assistant tab, which I'm going to go in a lot more detail later on in the video. Now, one thing that I love about the application is the fact that you can actually just scroll through all of the photos that you've got here, which can take some time, or you can use this side little pull-out bar here to actually go to a specific date but Google don't want you scrolling through all of the photos on your phone so they've implemented pinch to zoom so what this allows you to do is actually pinch in on the photos to go as far out as you need to and as you can see here you can go as far out as seeing the years and months so this is definitely a great feature to have now also when you're scrolling through you can see you can go right down to the bottom here in my case I'm going back to around 2008 so it's got all of my photos backed up and again you can go through and just pick what you need to look at zoom in and then you can get to a specific photo a lot more quickly than having to actually zoom in to go through all of your photos and again you can zoom in even further so you can look at multiple photos in quite high quality now one thing that i also love is the fact that when you actually scroll through photos they come up extremely quick i'm not sure how google does it because they are all coming from the cloud but there's literally no buffering time whatsoever you don't get any pixelation and just in general the photos come up extremely quickly They've also built in some really good search functionality, which is a little bit creepy as it does a really good job at actually figuring out what your photos are. So as you can see here, you've got some that are already done for you, or you can just search for a more specific one if needs be. So I'm just going to search for food and see what it comes up with. As you can see, a lot of the photos that it's found are food. Some of them are a bit random, but as you can see here, I can just go to this donor, open the picture, and it's great that you can just search whatever you need to, whether it's a place, a person, or something completely random like like food like I just done it's great that you can search through all of the photos in terms of collections this is what you know and love about Google and again you can also make your own collections whether that's albums movies or stories and again you can view them as normal and again I'm not sure how Google has done it but these also load extremely quick as well and again that surprised me because these also do come straight down from the cloud so again it's great that it does this and it seems like they're actually stored on your device even though they're not and then you've got the last page, which is the new assistant functionality, which is where you're going to find all of the auto awesome pictures that Google puts together. And just in general, anything it thinks looks nice together, whether that's a collage of different photos and things. And again, you can see here, it gives you a bit more information about this. And you can choose to back up this and any of the folders from within this screen as well. So again, you don't have to back up everything in terms of WhatsApp photos, downloads and things. If you just want it to be your camera roll, then you can do so. You can also create your own using the assistant, so you can do things like album and stories and just quickly I'm just going to create a collage just using four of these photos here I'm then going to click on create and it actually does it really quickly and then again it saves it straight onto a device using the photos that you've picked as you can see here it does look extremely nice now I've recently done a video on layout by Instagram which again creates some collages so again it's great to see this actually built right into the application you can also use these side pull out bar to get to all of these same settings as well in terms of assistant photos and also collections now, one thing that I really love as well is the fact that you can set multiple photos by basically dragging your finger over them. If you hold on one photo and then drag around, you can see here that you can select and deselect multiple photos all at one go. Now, this allows you to actually add them to things or make a story and things out of it using the assistant. And you can also put them into the bin, which I'm just going to undo because I want to keep them. And you can also do certain things as well with the photos, like sharing them on social networks and things. So again, it's great that all this functionality is built straight into the application. 
but by far my favorite feature is just the fact that it's really easy to go back to old photos if you want to. So as you can see here, this is a very old photo of myself. And again, it gives you the option to go back to these photos really quickly and really easily. This one here is from 2008. So again, it gives you that option. And again, you don't have to scroll through all of the photos that you've got on your device. You can get to something very quickly. I'm just gonna pick another old photo very quick for you guys now. And this is actually Barry at his graduation, which I think was around 2009. And again, I can see that right there in the application. And that's going to do it guys and I am very impressed with the new photos application from Google and if you guys want to download it for yourself I will have a link in the description down below and it will also be automatically updating the photo application on your Android device very shortly but if you do want to get it a bit sooner I've got the APK linked down below. And as always guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and if you guys have got any questions about this or what happened at Google I.O. be sure to leave them in the comments section or on Google Plus or on Twitter at CopperVest glass for more great content don't forget to subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video